North Melbourne's Jaden Stevenson has hit back at critics over an apparent lack of intent. The 23-year-old admits he was a liability in two crunch moments against Collingwood, but says injury has played its part. He spoke with Etten Woolley. Heading in for scans, Jaden Stevenson certainly wasn't shying away from the razor-sharp focus on his competitiveness. All the people that commented have achieved a lot more than I have, and um, it, does, it does hurt, I suppose. I mean, you've got to be resilient. You know that they're um, probably the negative stories sell a little bit more than the positive stories. It follows two contests early in the final term of Saturday's loss to Collingwood, one in particular proving crucial. McCreary, McCreary, two in a row for Collingwood. Those moments making for heavy criticism from both Kane Corns and Ross Lyon. I would almost go as far as to say it did cost him the game. He's a non-competitor. It physically doesn't compete. And every time you pick a team, you send a message. Enough of Jaden Stevenson for me. Stevenson was today brutally honest in his self-assessment, but says he did have an excuse. I completely agree. I wasn't able to compete properly in those contests, and that was due to my, my pain in my leg and my back. So um, I ran off and said I, I'll get subbed out. I'm a um, bit of a liability here at the moment. The 23-year-old simply wants some understanding. And I suppose the disappointing thing is, though, that these blokes make comments without actually indulging in the finer details or the circumstances as to why an event may occur. At this stage, it seems that injury status will save the ruse making any sort of selection statement, but the club says it will know more tomorrow. Ayrton Woolley, Nine News. At Richmond, Dustin Martin is preparing for at least another week on the sidelines, but it's not all bad news for the injury-hit Tigers. Braden Ingram joins us live with the details. Braden, what have the Tigers had to say about their casualty list? Well, Clint, it certainly is a bit of a lengthy one at the moment, and Dustin Martin does indeed sit on top. He has progressed to some kicking and some agility drills after that hamstring, but his return is still a little ways off. He won't be available this week, um, and given next week it's a short turnaround again on the Friday night, it's going to be it's going to be touch and go. It's really important that we uh, maximise his preparation and make sure that um, you know when he comes back he's safe and um, he can finish off the year strongly. For Toby Nankervis, a PCL issue has been confirmed, but he's pulled up a little bit better than expected. And although he is doubtful, he hasn't been ruled out to face the rules. Uh, the ruse. Tom Lynch, it is a hamstring strain, which has been confirmed for him. He could miss more than one week, while Trent Cochin is available, provided he uh, meets with the surgeon tomorrow and is given the all clear, while Noah Bolter will also return from illness. So some boosts ahead of the clash with the ruse. Meanwhile, over at Collingwood, Leon Davis and Andrew Cracker will return to the club. They had boycotted it in the wake of that racism scandal, but they'll be employed by the Magpies to build a safer environment. So some good news there. And just some news out of the Demons. Clayton Oliver, he's progressing well after surgery and is pushing to play at the weekend against the Power. While the Brisbane Lions, their entire club is in lockdown as that COVID issue continues to really sweep through. They'll hopefully have more players back, though, this weekend. Clint? Thanks so much, Braden Ingram, live.